What's up you guys, it's Susan Murad here with Clever News and current and former employees of The Ellen DeGeneres Show have just spoken out about the toxic work culture behind the scenes at the show in a new article. As many of you know by now, Ellen has been making headlines this year after some celebrities have called her out, staff members have spoken up, and people online have revealed their experiences with her alleged unfriendliness. And some people see this as ironic because Ellen DeGeneres has built her multi-million dollar brand on the motto, be kind to one another. And here are the values that I stand for. I stand for honesty, equality, kindness, compassion, treating people the way you want to be treated and helping those in need. To me, those are traditional values. That's what I stand for. And BuzzFeed just released a new tell-all article where one current employee and 10 former employees of The Ellen DeGeneres Show reveal the alleged toxic work culture on set. These employees said that while on camera, everything seems to be about happiness and kindness. Behind the scenes, they faced racism, fear and intimidation. One former employee told BuzzFeed that, quote, that be kind bullsh** only happens when the cameras are on. It's all for show. I know they give money to people and help them out, but it's for show. And while these employees choose to remain anonymous for their safety and privacy, the claims they are making against Ellen and her show are serious. There were a couple of employees that said they were fired after taking medical leave or bereavement days to attend family funerals. Another employee claims she was fed up with comments about her race and essentially walked off the job. While others said they were instructed by their managers to not speak to Ellen if they saw her around the office. One former black employee gave specific details about her experiences with racism on set. She said she experienced racist comments, actions and microaggressions during her year and a half working on the show. The employee said upon her hiring, a senior level producer spoke to her and another black employee saying, quote, Oh wow, you both have box braids. I hope we don't get you confused. She also said that one of the main writers told her, quote, I'm sorry, I only know the names of the white people who work here. And other co-workers awkwardly laughed it off in instead of coming to her defense. And when she brought up issues of race and representation on the show and asked producers not to use offensive terms like spirit animal in segments, her colleagues allegedly called her the PC police. This employee said that as she started to speak up about the discrimination, all of her colleagues distanced themselves from her. She said, quote, Whenever I brought up an issue to my white male boss, he would bring up some random story about some random black friend that he had and how they managed to get over stuff. He would use his black friend as some way to say, I understand your struggle, but it was all performative bullshit. Interestingly enough, most former employees blamed the executive producers and managers for the day-to-day -day toxicity. An employee said, quote, People focus on rumors about how Ellen is mean and everything like that, but that's not the problem. The issue is these three executive producers running the show who are in charge of all these people and who make the culture and are putting out this feeling of bullying and being mean. They feel that everybody who works at the Ellen show is lucky to work there. So if you have a problem, you should leave because we'll hire someone else because everybody wants to work here. But another employee said that in the end of the day, it's Ellen's name on the show and she really needs to take more responsibility for the workplace toxicity. This employee said, quote, if she wants to have her own show and have her name on the show title, she needs to be more involved to see what's going on. I think the executive producers surround her and tell her things are going great, everybody's happy, and she just believes that. But it's her responsibility to go beyond that. And BuzzFeed didn't only speak with these former employees and current employees, they also got a statement from the show's executive producers producers, and they said that they take these stories of the employees very seriously. Their statement said, quote, Over the course of nearly two decades, 3,000 episodes, and employing over 1,000 staff members, we have strived to create an open, safe, and inclusive work environment. We are truly heartbroken and sorry to learn that even one person in our production family has had a negative experience. It's not who we are and not who we strive to be, and not the mission Ellen has set for us. For the record, the day-to-day -day responsibility of The Ellen Show is completely on us. We take all of this very seriously and we realize, as many in the world are learning, that we need to do better, are committed to do better, and we will do better. And a current employee told BuzzFeed News that as the negative stories about Ellen and the show have been coming out, executive producers held an all-staff meeting over Zoom to address the negative stories and low morale. They said, quote, I think it's a lot of smoke and mirrors when it comes to the show's brand. They pull on people's heartstrings, they do what's going to get likes and what people are going to go for, which is a positive message. But that's not always reality. Another person added, that's the definition of a toxic work environment, where they make you feel like you're going insane and then you're like, no, everything I was feeling was right. It was all leading up to this. 
and fans have mixed feelings about this new BuzzFeed article. Some people are taking the side of the former employees, like this person who wrote, I believe it, and this fan who said, Sounds like The Ellen Show is out of touch with her own show and needs to clean house. And this Twitter user who added, Not shocked someone else is coming forward. This isn't the first time I'm hearing this. This show seems toxic behind the scenes, and I don't believe the statement the show put out. But we have bigger things to deal with than this. But others are wondering how much of this is true and wonder if Ellen is the problem or if it's the other higher level management. This fan wrote, Don't you ever wonder how much truth, if any, there is when people make such claims? We'll never know the truth unless there are videos or recordings because the employees will say she did it and she will say she didn't. So who to believe? Another person wrote, I get Ellen has had some moments, as has everyone in their life. But if you read the article, many of the claims say Ellen is not the problem. It is the three executive producers that are causing the toxic workplace. They are in control of the show. Ellen is the face. And this person just chimed in saying, Sounds to me like a bunch of disgruntled employees who wanted to be running things and doing what they wanted instead of working for the show. They seem to be the ones creating the toxic work environment. So clearly there are mixed feelings about this new article and what happens behind the scenes at The Ellen Show. And Ellen still hasn't spoken out about any of this herself. Her staff has made statements, but it seems like the fans who are wondering if all of these rumors about her are true want to hear from Ellen herself. We will obviously keep you guys posted if Ellen does say anything about all of this. And if you want more news on Ellen and feel like diving down the hole of conspiracy theories, you can click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know all your thoughts on this, including if you think Ellen will eventually speak out, right here in the comment section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you later. Bye guys.